What's up guys, Strategist420 here, back with another video. I'm going to be doing episode 3 of Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. We're headed for the Seychelles. That's where our new home is now. Hey. That was some operation we had, huh? Nine years ago. Carving out our own world. Making our own future. And they took it away. What was that? I'm gonna rebuild it. Make a new place. Together. That we can call home. Yeah, we were dogs, all right. Slinking around, out of sight for sight. Digging up whatever kind of dirty money we could find. You name it. We did it. You see this? Diamond dogs. Our new home. The phantom of our former selves. Triumph. Death. We weren't allowed either. <coughs> yeah. I remember it all. Alright. Gonna be interesting. It all ends soon, exactly as I've planned. No! Give my regards to your boss when you get home. below, feeding off Zero's power. Relax, bro. They came after you in Cyprus. Then Afghanistan. Cypher just keeps growing. Swallowing everything in its path. Getting bigger and bigger. How big now? Boss. I'm gonna make him give back our past. Take back everything that we've lost. And I won't rest. Until we do. Watching Mother Base! Our new Mother Base. 
yeah. how long it'll take, but I'll make it bigger, better than before. Gosh, what should I do? Boss, tell me, tell me like you used to. Things have changed, boss. We pull in money, recruits, just a combat cipher. Rubbing our noses in bloody battlefield dirt. All for revenge. The world calls for wet work, and we answer. No greater good. No just cause. Cause. Cypher sent us to hell. We're going even deeper. I know. I'm already a demon. Heaven's not my kind of place anyway. Dogs of war for nine whole years. That ends today. Now you're not sleeping, and we're not junkyard hounds. We're diamond dogs. Let them talk. We can crush Cypher, boss. And you can build the army that can do it. Just one thing, Kaz. This isn't about the past. We're fighting for the future. So wait, how did this guy... Oh, they probably put him up in the chopper. But... There's something I want to talk about. It concerns the running of Mother Base. Come meet me. Okay. Go for them, not me. Okay. This base belongs to you now. Make Diamond Dogs the force it deserves to be. Like any organization, we need good people. And we need to make good use of their talents. Miller asked me to lay that out for you. Start bringing people in. Use this. It's a Fulton recovery device. When you're in the field, use it to extract any soldiers or prisoners you want back here. And we'll see if we can't persuade them to join the ranks of Diamond Dogs. Go on. Test it out on the staff here. Anyone you want. First, put them to sleep. You have a tranquilizer gun, don't you? It's an honor, boss. Damn. First, put him to sleep. You have a tranquilizer. What's the matter, boss? That's one way of doing it. Now extract it. Good. Extraction, Extraction arrived at Mother Base. We can only recover someone if they're not resisting. No dead bodies either. They don't make great recruits. 
staff member you just extracted will be assigned to the team best suited to his abilities. See for yourself. Open your eye door. That's it. Select staff management from the mother base menu. So that staff member was placed on the R&D team. The R&D team is in charge of developing all kinds of weapons and items that will support you on missions. Take a look at the development list. Select weapons items under the development heading. Please specify That's the R&D team's development list. See the item called Cardboard Box? Didn't seem much use to me, but Miller was adamant that you'd want it on the list. The last <laughs> word in infiltration technology, or so he said. In any case, we don't have the manpower to develop it just yet. We need more staff on the team. Go extract a few more people. Boss, put the iDroid away from him. You can also Fulton extract individuals you've knocked out. Why don't you try knocking someone out with CQC next? I'm ready, Show them how it's done, boss. <laughs> try throwing them. Best way to knock someone out instantly. Injured, the shock of it could kill them. And if the weather is unfavorable, well, you can determine the chance of success by approaching the person you want to extract. You want to be sure you get them out. Best way to get chopper is said. Oh, shit. Extract the next step. Extract the next step. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Holy fuck. Unit function added. Development project Wait, has been how the added. Fuck did I do this? Boss, now that we have more people on the R&D team, its level has gone up. It should be able to develop the cardboard box now. Open your eyes. Do I really gotta do this for every motherfucker on this ship? <laughs> like... Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Interesting how this game uses the to jump. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Arrived at Mother Base. <laughs> Extraction arrived at Mother Base.
Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Please specify a project. Please select a drop point. Supplies requested. Supply drop complete. extracted were all placed on the R&D team, but that was Miller's decision. If you think they belong somewhere else, you're free to move them around. Well, that about does it. You won't make any GMP or find recruits hanging around here. Board the chopper when you're ready for a mission. Open your eye droid and select a landing zone to tell it where to pick you up. Or if you're still in the mood for knocking guys on their asses, you can stay around here a while and give the men some practice. Just come pay me a visit. They have, oh, they have R and D, have support. Let's see. Right. On, Please on specify a project. Please specify a project. Please specify a project. Please select landing zone. This is B-Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Development project has been added. Mission list updated. Boss, I know you haven't been back long, but I prepared a list of missions for you. Open your eye droid. You were hospitalized in Dekelia, a British sovereign base area on Cyprus. It's part of British overseas territory that falls outside of Cypriot jurisdiction. You got moved from Cuba's little America right into Cyprus's little Britain. Why to kill you? The UK and the US remain close allies. The last place Cypher would think to look for you is inside their own system. 
That's what kept you safe in British Military Hospital for nine years. The safest place from a whale is inside its own belly. You were a regular Geppetto. Well, it wasn't Pinocchio who led me out to safety. So who was that guy? Cypher went so far as to attack British territory, burning their own ally. That's how badly they wanted you dead. He said I was in a British military hospital. But the doctor had a Greek accent. They hire locally. Easier to trust them. The Kelly is also home to Greek Cypriots, after all. What about the Turks? They haven't returned to the south. Not yet. The Cyprus dispute is still a long way from resolved. The country is just as split as it was in 74. Turkish Cypriots in the north, Greek Cypriots in the south. Between them, the Green Line, the UN established. And the Kallias is right on top of it. It does. Part of the buffer zone between the two groups. Another reason it was the perfect place to hide you. Easy to spot any outsiders snooping around. So how do things stand? Now, last year, the Turks declared that the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus is an independent state. Though it's only Turkey that recognizes it. In the past, the Greeks and Turks lived side by side in the same villages. There are reasons to fight. Those came from the outside. Greece, Turkey, Britain, America. They all had their own stake in pitting the two sides against each other. But once you spark something like this, it's impossible to control. Both sides build up grudges like debt, without the foresight to see that each act of revenge just fans the flames, and then it's too late for other nations to rush in with peace talks. The embers keep on smoldering. Each nation's arrogance only breeds anarchy. The world is paralyzed by this hunger for revenge. Cyprus is no different. Years. 
We've had extremist students in Iran take U.S. Embassy workers hostage in suicide bombings in Lebanon. Over 300 foreign soldiers stationed there have been killed. God, Countries damn, have yet to develop an effective That's means so of loud. dealing with terrorism. Afraid of losing their own men, they've pulled their forces out, handing private forces a golden opportunity. Private forces, small armies with no national affiliation, working for the highest bidder. That's right, they got the idea from you. After Mother Base went down, they began spreading to meet the soaring demand. Miller's organization is just one of many PFs now. The entire world is after you. But at the same time, it needs you too. Miller told me about what happened in the Caribbean nine years ago. You do remember Miller. You'd formed a private army with him. An army with no allegiance to a nation. I remember, but... I see. You're not sure what's fact and what's a fantasy caused by the coma. It's still all a mess, huh? All I can do is tell you the facts as they were told to me. I've gone easy on you up until now, but this is where the hard stuff begins. 1974, the year before you entered your coma. You were in Colombia, operating with a small unit of men, basically mercenaries. Miller was among them. Miller was trying to find a way to turn his and your talents into a line of work. He was looking to start a business where you would fight on behalf of others around the world, those who needed military force. But the reality was, at that time, you didn't have enough gear to equip your own men. Then Miller came across this client. It was a huge job he was offering, but you had a shot at pulling it off. You accepted it and headed into Costa Rica. The client even threw in an offshore facility in the Caribbean. The Mother Base. That would be your new base of operations. Miller sure did have a head for business. As your mission went on, your unit grew and grew. More weapons, more money. Before you knew it, you were commanding 300 men. As the organization got bigger, your military power swelled to match. It got so the international community couldn't afford to ignore you. You were just too damn successful for your own good. You, oh, yeah. your men, had worn out your welcome. Everyone was out for you. East, West, First World, Third. It was only a matter of time before someone took you down. And that was XOF. Officially, they're an anti-terror unit under the CIA. In reality, they're Cypher's private strike force. They lured you to Cuba using Chico, the Nicaraguan revolutionary kid, and Paz, a mole who worked for Cypher as bait. While you were gone, XOF, posing as a nuclear inspection team, stormed Mother Base. At the same time, C4 they placed on the strut legs went off. The whole thing went down in minutes. XOF. Kisses and hugs followed by a big F U. All because of Miller's blind spot. A back door into Mother Base no one suspected. You remember a certain scientist? Huey was responsible for bringing the inspection team on board. Giving the enemy a perfect opportunity to hit you at home. You were returning from Cuba when it happened. Mother Base came damn close to taking you with it into the Caribbean. Those of your men out on assignment returned right away. They refused to believe the wreckage in the water they found was Mother Base. But they checked the coordinates again and again until reality finally settled in. You were supposed to die that day. That was XOF's primary objective. As far as most folks know, you did. The first doctor to see you wasn't even sure what he was looking at. Before they'd even finished operating, your men moved you to that hospital in Cyprus. It was a woman named Eva who arranged that. Rings a bell, hmm? Most men in your condition would have been written off right from the start. But you survived. You went straight down to hell, and they pulled you out. Your eye wide open. Full of venom. The days of Naked Snake are long gone. Welcome back, Venom Snake. This world still needs you. Oh, yeah. Here, Snake, try this on. A prosthetic arm. Yeah, Miller was calling it the arm that wasn't there. The physiotherapy's going well. Your arm's bulked up enough for it to fit. Is this what I'm supposed to do? Snake, I wanted to ask you about the man on fire. What do you remember from the hospital? 
Anything we can use? Well, he took off the moment the sprinklers started up. Sprinklers? The fire system? And when he got sprayed with water from the burst pipe, it slowed him down. When we escaped on horseback, he wouldn't cross the river either. And then it started to rain. And he disappeared. Water against fire. Is it that simple? I mean, it makes sense. It's just hard to believe it would work on a guy like that. Okay, I think that was... Please select a mission. I've taken a job offer as Diamond Dogs has received and made a list of those I want you to consider. Which ones you accept is your call. The objectives of the missions I've added are prisoner rescue, facility sabotage, and high value target elimination. Probably all a walk in the park for you, but they should help you get back on your feet. I put the mission details on a cassette tape. Refer to it if you decide to accept the mission. We'll receive GMP for completing missions, and extracting soldiers and prisoners will boost our ranks. Building up Mother Base is the first step to achieving our goal. If that means wet work, so be it. We're gonna have to get our hands dirty. I hope you're rested up, because we're not stopping. Not until the pain is gone. The future of Diamond Dogs is in your hands. We're counting on you, boss. Yeah. 
Lost Sand is a major outpost that links this region together. Check the location on your iDroid. <laughs> arrived at Mother Base. Yeah.
extract him. You have arrived at your destination. is worn out. That gun will be as loud as any other now. If you have to shoot, be careful.
Понял. Будьте на готове. Конец связи. Those are raw diamonds. Collecting them as assets will raise our GMP. That material. It could be just what we need to develop new weapons and equipment.
the target. Looks like we found them. What about this? Great. If there's nothing in the way overhead, you should be able to bolt in him. Target extraction confirmed. Your objectives complete. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. a landing zone. A support helicopter Roger. requested. Please specify a project.
arrived at Mother Base. Development project has been added. Yes, mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. Hell yeah. Damn, accuracy still ass. I need to put that in single fire. volunteer Yeah, we're growing. Side ops list updated. By connecting your iDroid to the onboard computer, you turn the chopper into your own Aerial Command Center, or ACC. Some elements of staff assignment and R&D of weapons and items can only be performed from there. Take as long as you need to consider all your options. Oh yeah? Well guys, I'm gonna end that video off there. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Until next time, 